Everyone can stand and stretch right now. Let's just do a 30 second stand up, get out of your chair. I need it too, because if I don't get the blood moving in this three hours, we're not gonna do it. So I'm pushing my chair back and I'm actually gonna give it a big stretch. Make sure, yes, get your water right now. We're changing gears. You are about to get it loud and straight from this <laughs> next lady. Um, that is one of also my closest, closest friends in the world. Um, but so brilliant a mind. If you have not spent time behind closed doors or in rooms or on stages or audiences, um, I had the pleasure, just a little bit of background of um, getting to meet your next speaker, Laura Brandeo, the president of AFR in New York City, because I had a show at one time on Mortgage News Network called Power Women. Um, I did 13 episodes in season one. She was one of the most powerful women in America that were picked to appear on this show. And so in a New York City uh, filming studio, I got to meet her backstage as I uh, prepared to interview her. Um, I would later connect with her as a friend. We would become uh, colleagues in the way that we would share what was going on in the world. We then became co-authors with a best-selling book, Winner Learn, uh, which is The Naked Truth, which is an incredible book that's on Amazon. Um, and a second co-authored book, Just Say Yes. Um, so she is a multi-best-selling author, um, an incredible elite executive leader. But man, let me tell you, you'll know in about two minutes when she starts talking. Um, she's powerful. She knows what she's talking about. And today she is here. She's going to be talking in this session on uh, executing your 2022 plan. She is the chairman of the board for Women with Vision, the largest women's coaching group in America in the American banking industry. So with that, Laura Brandeo, please. Thank you so us. much. Thank you so much, Christine. And man, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to catch some of what Joe was speaking. He had such amazing insights there and, and so many great things to get us ready for 2022. I'm going to change gears a little bit here because as we're hearing how the market is turning and as we are preparing all of our companies and our teams and ourselves, I truly believe that it starts with our mindset. And so at this time, the first question I wanna ask is, have you ever heard someone that keeps speaking about the good old days, whether it was back when they were originator doing their heyday before the market crash, heck, it could have been speaking about 2020. Well, that's just the thing. They are the good old days because we can't go backwards in our lives. It's forward movement or stunted growth and stagnation. So today, I am going to ask you a question. Are you a shark, a sucker fish, or a parasite? See, at different points in our careers, we have all been one of these. And today, I actually hope to encourage everyone to either continue to be a shark, and it all starts with six principles. See, the most important lesson that you can learn from a shark is the fact that you can never stop moving forward. They are in constant motion because motion gives them life. See, never stop moving means constantly seeking balance and progress in all areas of your life and not stopping until you reach your desired outcome. Never stop moving means waking up every day determined to progress, whether you're worn out and tired or even if you think the current is too strong for you. See, sharks never stop moving forward towards their vision. See, success and accomplishments feel amazing in that moment, but those feelings can hold us back from starting something new again because we hesitate to put ourselves back out there because we're worried that our next effort won't be as good 
as our last, or we're scared that people might think about us differently if we don't have the same triumph like back in 2020. But we need to start again. We need to keep swimming and never stop moving because it means embracing the attitude of relentless progress, even if it isn't pretty at times, even when it's slow and barely noticeable. It means being committed to learning, knowing that you're here today, you are committed to that and experimenting and pivoting when necessary. It means having a bias towards action, not being paralyzed by the pressure of perfection. And remember, never stop moving means not settling for good enough. It's never good enough because there's always a bigger difference to make in the lives of others and the families that we serve. Another thing to keep in mind is that if a shark goes backwards, it will drown. Now, there are times when we trip up, but I want you to think of those missteps as failing forward because you can use any mistake you make as a stepping stone for the future. Because if you live in the past, you'll never improve your future. And it doesn't matter if you failed before, and it doesn't matter if you had those best years in 20 or 21. That's the past. And we've got 22 in front of us, everyone. And it's time for us to make that impact. Remember, you can only make a unique mistake once because the second time is actually a choice. The second principle of a shark is they only focus on what's above them and in front of them, never with what's beneath them. How many times have you worried about what others are doing, kind of looking around and scanning what everyone else is up to. Why does it matter? Are they going to take care of your family? Celebrate others, but don't worry about what they're working on because it doesn't help you move forward. If anything, it could be a distraction. It could make you feel like they're making more progress than you, resulting in a sense of failure. If you want to be at the top of your food chain, you need to think positive. Stay focused on your plan because your goals and your definition for success is only yours. It doesn't matter what everyone else is doing. And you are the only one that controls that mindset. And this includes feeding and watering your positivity. The third principle of a shark is they don't act like common fish because they're different and they know it. They are focused on their goal and they're driven to achieve it. See, there's two paths that we can take, the common and comfortable and the fear road, the one that shakes you and throws you out of your comfort zone. Now, I promise you that taking that fear road is always a faster way to get you to where you're going. Because sticking with that familiar, it doesn't challenge you and it won't change your outcome and it won't change you. This part always makes me think about Gary V's thoughts on an immigrant outlook. I pictured people coming off of a plane or I picture people coming off a ship years ago with their kids on one hand and a suitcase on the other, not knowing how to speak the language and a few dollars in their pocket. There was no possible chance of failure because they burned the boats. There was no going back and failure was not an option. How much fear do you think they experience with no plan B, just looking forward in constant motion? I was speaking to a young lady in our industry. She was sharing with me her story of coming to America at the age of eight. She arrived at JFK Airport in New York City, and she was amazed by all the different faces and the clothing that everyone was wearing. And when she walked outside of JFK Airport, she saw a few homeless people. And she turned to her mother and she said, Mom, why are the rich people sleeping outside 
of the airport? And her mom said, oh dear, they're not rich people, they're homeless. And the little girl said, but mommy, they have shoes and a coat and they're smoking a cigarette. They're rich because she was coming from Haiti. And in her environment that she came from, if you had shoes and a coat and a drink and you were smoking a cigarette, you were considered rich. So with that perspective, I ask you, depending on, look at the lives that we have. And I think to myself of that immigrant story and that fear that no matter what, it doesn't matter if the rate shot up to 10%, it doesn't matter what changes in our environment. When you have that fire in your belly to know that you have to get it done for your family, you're going to get it done. It doesn't matter what the outside forces are that might be coming to you. It's just another cycle in our industry. So you wonder, are we too busy to call back that client? Are we still too fearful to make that video and post it out on social media? How about getting over the fear of reaching out to past clients because maybe you're not sure what that objection might be? See, when you realize that you are not a common individual and you have that shark mindset, that means moving forward, never looking down, not worrying about any one else, but what you are working on. See, follow that intuition because you have everything that you need right now. Otherwise, it wouldn't have come into your vision. Own your dreams. Allow them to unfold without us second guessing or sabotaging them. I believe that real success happens. Well, real success doesn't happen until you've taken on others and helped them. That's your sucker fishes. Remember in the beginning I said, are you a shark, a sucker fish, or a parasite? See, a sucker fish, the sharks need them and vice versa. And we need others also. We need to learn from each other. We need to grow with each other. And none of us have all the skills that we need to truly be successful. And that's why having those sucker fishes around us or being one to another shark, that's part of us growing and learning and moving forward. That's why all of you are here right now to continue to learn from each other. And the fourth principle is being curious. See, as kids, we had absolute curiosity. Our surroundings fascinated us. With this fascination, we spent hours exploring and imagining and questioning everyone and everything with our five senses. This is all because we were created with an innate desire to know and to understand. In fact, if not for our innate curiosity, we could not have made breakthroughs, technological advancements, and my goodness, Columbus got on a boat and came out. He didn't know what he was finding or what was going to happen. Could you picture that in our minds? Well, I guess maybe now we could be going to Mars, okay? So this curiosity all came from that. But I realized that as we get busy, as we get stressed out, we stop asking questions. We almost tone ourselves down to not be that annoying person that's always questioning things. Well, you know what? That's not annoying. That's actually learning. And when I was listening to Joe and you guys asking questions, look at that great information. Now, some of that, you probably were like, okay, I'm filtering. I'm filtering for my business. This applies, this doesn't. But you just learned that information. You now can go into your next conversation with a, with a family and be able to pull that out of your brain and say, you know what? I just attended this meeting and I heard this. Be curious 
ask questions and never be afraid. I know people are like, this is a stupid question. There's no such thing. There is never a silly or a stupid question. The only thing that might be silly or stupid is holding back and not asking. Be curious because this is how not only learn, we improve our interpersonal relationships. I have a podcast that I do called What's Your Why, where I interview people in the mortgage industry. And one day I met with this woman and I met her at a conference and I asked her to, I wanted to learn more about her. We, we spoke for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And afterwards she said to me, Laura, I can't believe how much I just shared with you. I, I can't believe how I opened up and I shared all this information. I think you know more about me now than anyone else in the industry. And I said, why? Why is that? She said, no one ever asked me. <laughs> no one ever asked me these questions. No one ever took the time to get to know me. All of you have that same ability with your clients. You have that relational opportunity to ask questions. Every human on earth loves to speak about themselves. Be curious, ask questions. There's never a silly one. You will bond closer to, to them and you will learn more. Okay, see sharks also are always looking for opportunities through this curiosity, okay? They're always paying attention and watching what they can learn and they don't look back. Remember, it's a matter of life and death. That's the way I want you to think about this. Take what you've learned in the past and pull it forward to the future of 22 and beyond. It doesn't matter. There's no going back. It's let's learn, let's grow, and let's move forward. Remember that complacency is a very dangerous place. See, sharks don't get what they want by chance. They go after it. They're hyper-focused on their surroundings, and when they see an opportunity, they act. They know what they want. They go after it, and they go after it with power and purpose. They're confident in their ability, and they don't second-guess themselves. So here's a few other reasons why we need to be curious. Like I said, sometimes you get people that just asking questions, asking questions all the time. It gets you and them out of that same routine and that comfort zone. Again, I love to speak to people in our industry. And one day I was speaking to Jason DuPont from Nexa Mortgage, and he shared a story with me that he loves bringing in new people for into the industry, right? He loves bringing them in and training them. And he said, do you know how I train them when they first come on my team? And I'm like, no, how do you train them, right? You're thinking, oh, I train them, you know, I put them with a mentor, or, you know, I put them through a class training. I sit side by side. Oh no, not at all. You know what he does? He sends them out to make crazy videos in difficult situations. Why? He gets them out of their comfort zones and he shows them trust within their team. They understand that they have their back and that they will be there to support them. It's foundational bonding on the team because guys, we can teach everyone mortgage. We can learn those sections, but if you don't have those foundational structure to build upon, when the going gets tough, sometimes it breaks apart. So get out of that comfort zone and push yourself into asking questions, being curious, getting in out of that routine and bonding together. The fifth principle is that sharks respect their environment and recognize and respect other sharks. This ties to being part of a mortgage community and supporting and nurturing others. Because at the end of the day, it does take a village and we're in it together. They understand the strengths of all the sharks and they use them to achieve a common goal because there's no sense of competition because one shark will never attack another. 
This is so important to our growth. When we are focused on our mission and our plan, we don't have time to speak negatively about others. When you have a sharp mindset, you share your skills and you're never afraid to help others, including those sucker fishes. No matter how powerful a shark is, they know they need other sharks and teammates to thrive. But also keep in mind that you must also protect yourself against those parasites. Parasites sometimes are one way. So when you get the one way person, just be aware of that. You want to surround yourself with people that will lift you up like 2020 vision and always look to help others. Because like I said before, sometimes we're a sucker fish and other times we're a shark. Now, just like you can identify a shark by their telltale fins and markings, you can also identify sharks in your own life by their character, their work ethic, and the way they treat others. Keep your sharks close. They will make you stronger. And our sixth and final trait is that they always know where they're going. They have a mission and a destination in mind. They keep their goal in front of them at all times. So I ask you, do you have your goal in front of you right now? Do you know where you're going this year? I will share with you that to the left of me, I have a dry erase board. And on that dry erase board is a number. That number represents how many days I have left in the mortgage industry before I say goodbye. When I decided to put the number on my board, it was very scary for multiple reasons. But I will tell you what the most scary part of that number is. Every morning when I turn on my computer, I erase one of those numbers and reduce it by one. That symbolizes a plethora of things there. The most important thing it represents to me is that I just lost one day towards my goal. When you make it that visual and you put a deadline and a timeline onto the life and what you are looking to accomplish, boy, does that kick you in the behind. And it also tells you that you are not giving up one of those days to anything that doesn't help you get to whatever that goal is going to be. So with that, you want, and, and the other thing is, it's a clean slate. Literally, it's like having New Year's Day every single day because it's like, oh, all right, lost one of those days. It's a new year. It's a new day. Start all over again. Because when you get down to that much of a driven goal, there's no free days. Every one of them has to be filled with lasting memories and progress. Like I said, don't give your days away. And do not ever allow them to take one for you, from you. So whether you are a sucker fish today or part of a shiver of sharks, I know that you are all ready for 22. And remember, you are never too good, too old, too experienced, too rich, or too successful to realize that there is always more to give. And it is not your past decisions that define us. It's our next one. So keep swimming, my friends. You've got this. Yay! I'm so inspired. I, I sat here thinking, am I a shark? I don't know. <laughs> I think you're a shark. Yeah. I was, but, but I think, I think we're a sucker fish at times because oh, yeah. we need others, right? Absolutely. To give us things. And we're a shark on others because you're, well, you're all so about much. forward. You're all, all about forward, Christine. It's a journey. We evolve. I think you said so many powerful things and um, I'm going to listen back to the whole thing again. 
Um, there's a book out and I wish I could remember, I'm stuck in my seat right now doing this MC. I'm so bad with memory things. That reminds me of the book of the stuff that you were just talking about. I love about this. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I live this mindset and I thought it was a good new year. Get everyone Absolutely on that. <laughs> 1000%. Everyone listen, you should be following Laura. If you're not on social media, she puts a tremendous amount of incredible content out. We're going to keep the show moving um, because we are a little bit behind on time, but I want to bring in our next speaker as quickly as can. Laura, thank you so much. Bye guys. Love you to death. Thank you so much.